Thank you, sir. Vice Councillor? Yes. The Duke of York meeting those who aim to make tours of duty that bit more entertaining. A group of nine radio presenters, TV reporters and technical staff were given their operational service medals for working in Afghanistan, providing troops there with a chance to have their say or just send a message home. The Duke of York, who served in the Falklands conflict on board HMS Invincible as a Sea King co-pilot, has also visited frontline troops in Afghanistan and Iraq. And today he congratulated all those here who'd worked with them. I didn't realise how much you actually do and, 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 and what you do in order to keep people in contact with each other and actually um, broadcast, um, as it were, content that, that they all want. And you've got to do it on the background of, of, of a very wide spread audience. So congratulations for, 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 for all that you've done. For radio presenters who dedicate their programmes to service personnel and their families, today is a career highlight. I feel incredibly proud. I feel that we have been recognised for what we do out in theatre. And of course, we would do it whether there is a medal involved or not. You know, it's, it's not about the medal, it's about the people we serve. The medals are given to civilians who have at least 30 days continuous service in Afghanistan. In reality, it's often much longer. For me, it was just really meeting the guys, um, spending time with them, um, going out to places like Lashkagar and just getting insight. And it was their appreciation which, which made the job worthwhile because, you know, we're out there, we're based at Camp Bastion, but when the FBS and British Forces News go out on the ground, um, you're able to, you know, get a real taste of what their life's like. And you're there, maybe turn up with a camera, a microphone, getting requests, dedications, and then the next day it can be, you know, on the television, on the radio, and they're just so appreciative. And that just, for me, that's the biggest highlight. The medals are a lifelong reminder of their time serving those who serve their country. Victoria Smith, Forces News, Buckinghamshire.